I'll have to be honest with you, first thing I'm going to mention right up front is, is it's free. Uh, I, I like this, this, this service when, when it's free because, you know, you can tie up a lot of money in, in different services and from experience I found out that a, you, sometimes you can pay a lot of money and you, you may not be getting that much out of it. Good afternoon, welcome to Grain TV. It's July 14th, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Cody Bills, and we finally have some positive price action here in the grains to talk about. We saw corn up three and a quarter. Soybeans was up just a penny on the August contract, picking up 11 and a quarter though on the new crop November contract. Chicago wheat moving higher as well, up 11 and three quarters. This morning, Cody, we did get the export inspections report. Was that pushing this market higher or just kind of a bounce back from what we saw last week? You know, really what I thought it was, was a little bit of a pause, not even a bounce back. I mean, when you look at corn only up three cents and soybeans up 11 cents, I mean, this wasn't the kind of snap back uh, with conviction that you yeah. want to see here. When you look at inspections, I mean, really, I don't think a lot of this is, is fundamentally driven in today's action. You know, you look at inspections, we came in, within analyst expectations for corn with 377,000 metric tons uh, inspected for export. We had, uh, well, or excuse me, that was for wheat. We had uh, corn come in with 926,000 metric tons inspected for export, and soybeans actually beat analyst expectations with about 115,000 metric tons inspected for export. So they were positive, but I don't think that's what was driving this. In, in a sense, I, I got the feeling on Friday that we were a little, we overreacted here uh, to what was reported in uh, the old crop months, you know, we saw that uh, negative residual number that kind of shocked the market. Really had the uh, the old crop contract sell off uh, significantly right. relative to the new crop. It looks as though we have a little bit of footing here. Uh, but when you know you look at old crop and new crop here, um, we saw old crop relatively strong today, right. which is just I think a snapback and, and balancing of what we saw on Friday's trade. Yeah, we're gonna have to see if we do see that continued strength uh, here out of the new crop contracts. If you take a look at what we got from the uh, USDA this afternoon in terms of pro crop progress. We did see 1% added to the good to excellent rating on this corn crop. Uh, and we saw soybeans unchanged, but we saw 1% moved from the good to the excellent category. So another very strong week in terms of crop progress and really reflective uh, of what we've been hearing from producers here uh, this morning and late last week as we were talking to them in the office here. Take a look at this map from NOAA. This shows accumulated precipitation over the last seven days. And you can see really uh, an exceptional area of the grain belt received, you know, two to three inches, kind of that, that good amount of precipitation that uh, we want to be seeing at this time in the growing season to really maintain good crop growing conditions. The one thing here to keep an eye on moving forward is that we're going to have some exceptionally cold temperatures between four and eight degrees below normal uh, for much of the grain belt, as you can see here really through the weekend. So now the question is, Cody, we do have exceptional crop progress, or excuse me, we have exceptional good to excellent ratings, uh, but obviously it's a concern now as we're entering pollination and blooming. Uh, is this cold temperature going to have an impact on yield? You know, I don't think it will. I mean, you look at uh, silking, we're about 34% silking, uh, blooming 41%. That's a about on par. Blooming is actually above uh, the four-year average here. The four-year average for blooming is about 37%. So we're running a little bit ahead of pace here. I don't think these uh, cooler temperatures are going to have a significant effect on yield. If anything, it's going to affect the growing degree days here. Looks as though we're going to get a warming temperature later on in the week and yep. we'll uh, kind of move back. I know that we're about four to six degrees colder uh, around this week here than typically what we right. see. But I think, you know, when we talk about the growing degree days, and, and kind of how, uh, how slow this crop may uh, develop. It'll, it'll actually put uh, potentially a frost freeze threat on this, uh, on this crop later on during the growing season. 